Welcome to the 6 o'clock news, I'm your anchor, Arthur Anymore Donuts. Our top story today, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer dead at 53. I know, it's sad. Over Barcelona today, the fame reindeer was hit by a flock of seagulls and a 747. Eyewitnesses report that the reindeer in Spain was hit mainly by the plane. And we're also getting reports of multiple people attacking the Ender Dragon in the end. On to you, our man on the ground, Francis full of French people. Why, thank you, Arthur. So, as you can see, there are multiple people attacking the Ender Dragon. It looks like they are trying to challenge the Ender Dragon. And if it's not enough to take on the Ender Dragon itself, it looks like they are upping the ante and summoning Withers. And they are fighting the Withers ferociously. There are many of them that are falling, but they are surviving. And there has been some disturbing occurrences and experiments taking place as well. It looks like we have these couple of individuals trying to trap the Ender Dragon in a boat. And it seems like one group was unsuccessful. We have Mr. Wintertooth dying and exploding. But we have Mr. Puffingfish surviving and managing to trap the Ender Dragon. It looks like we have Mr. Thing trying to fly in and he gets bounced off. And it's an amazing experience over here, Arthur. And it looks like things are dying down. So back to the studio. And later in the day, we got reports of one Puffing Fish, Justin L, and Mr. Ash298 working on the Capture the Pig terraforming. On to you, Justin. Why, thank you, Arthur. So, we have actually started digging out the entire area, uh, trying to get rid of all the mycelium and replace it with grass. But, of course, uh, shenanigans always are afoot when you have multiple people together. And, of course, we begin by Puff having to explode his diamonds thanks to his stream. Okay. I can't. I can't. I'm not allowed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna prime the TNT here. We're gonna put stack of diamonds right out there. That's a stack, okay? Nothing left in my inventory. <laughs> and of course, I, I couldn't let just Puff destroy one stack of diamonds. I had to get him to destroy something else, something precious. Was that a creeper tag or was that? Yes, was it, that, yes it was. <laughs> oh, creeper tag. <laughs> so, you know how you say weren't, my... you weren't going to destroy? Destroy what? <laughs> Any more of your valuables? Uh, how much? Stack of redstone blocks. Stack of reds, that's worse than diamonds. What are you wrong? Oh my What's God. wrong with you, a fellow redstone? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just the evil. I don't even have a stack of redstone blocks on me. They're so valuable. <laughs> oh no. Okay, fine. A stack of redstone dust. I'll tweak it. Okay. I don't have no redstone on me. My redstone box is gone. Oh, Justin, that's too nice. <laughs> but I can go to my base and do it. I'll okay. go do it. For the, oh. With a stack of blocks, I'll do it. I'll take that, yes. <laughs> Gosh. This is worse than diamonds. I would have been happy with a stack of diamonds. Okay, so, here's the deal. We're going to go ahead. Let's see those blocks. Pit of fire. Yeah, oh, no, there we go. Oh, horrible. <laughs> uh, okay, where's... And then, and then because I feel bad... Oh. Oh. <sighs> It's all gone. Ah, sad times. Oh my, do they have their work cut out for them. A lot of terraforming to get done. Moving on, we have some interesting things that occurred over at Mr. I'm GP's base. There has been some disturbing occurrences happening over at his satellite base. Now, let's go on and take a look. Hey Arthur, so yeah, uh, me and Ash are actually getting some work done at I'm GP's base. We got some terraforming done for him. Nice little pathway from the lighthouse. And we also had a little fun on the side. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's got a weird aftertaste, but... Yeah, I mean, 
can't really eat any right now. Strange. Had uh, some steak, but you know, I can smell it. You know, it. You can kind of, you can kind of smell this like, very um, I don't know, just smelly essence. Th that's yeah. Really grab it here. Hmm. A little bit of huh. stank, it, it, if you know what I mean. It's not bad. I, I think, I think most of the skunk smell is gone. I say it's it's a little bit blonde now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does look a bit blonde to me. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! We need to batter him up. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh uh, god! So I heard you were doing something with my soul. Is is this your true identity? Have, has it been revealed? Yes. God, man. So, can I see you do the flop? Um, uh, I wasn't prepared for this. You know, that's kind of rude to make me do the flop in front of the audience. Did you cook my fish? My what? soul? I in the world? It needed a little bit of crisping. How dare you? I had to cook it over Gosh, light oil. This? Light oil. Hey, it wasn't hey, that we're, bad. We're just tasting it, giving a little bit of uh, some licks, you know? Come on, do this. <laughs> oh, come on, skunk. It's not that bad. It's just a little burnt it around is the that bad. I don't understand. <laughs> skunk, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can smell it. It smells like rot. No, that. I was just holding your, your brand of perfume. That too. That too. <laughs> All right. Don't well, me, GP. I don't want to talk to you anymore. What do we do, Justin? Ooh, I don't know. It's not like you can uncook it. It's not like I can uncook it. Maybe we need to fish another one. Mm, yes. Wait, can we just do that? Can we replace it? Skunk soul is not replaceable, guys. I don't know. I beg to differ. Let's go see if we can try it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where are you, GP? Looks like the two of them over there are... Don't worry about what we're doing. They're having a little bit of a of a little get together Lord. over there. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, Skunk. I got you. Okay. I got you, man. I, I got you. Shh, Appreciate it. GP, GP. This is just a costume. It's supposed to make them feel bad. Good. Like they were cooking oh. me or something. Yes, sir. Can you smell it? It has an authentic smell. <sighs> yes. Very nice. Want to try it? Sure. Here, just... Right there. All right, is my the fire licking blonde skunk? I think he is. Think? Yep, yep, just, yep. Let me try Kind of hard to hear. Might have to get a little closer, guys. Yeah, let's get a little yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah. I think they're licking each other. Oh god, they're coming! They're coming! Run! 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 Go! 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 In this way! Retreat! 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 Jungle! Jungle! Go! Doing the running away. It's, just... it's a fish out of water. Run! <laughs> la, 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 la. run. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> We're coming for ya. Because they say fun fish. Go! Run! Oh! <laughs> it's a fish fly. Get him! It's a flying fish. Oh no, they disappeared. La, 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 la. Let's hide, let's hide, let's hide. They'll never find me up here. They found me. Hello. Oh, he said up. Justin's the nice one. Hi, hi, Justin. Justin, give him a little taste. See what he's like. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes way better. Still think it needs a bit of salt, in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. But I guess because it's fresh. Ah, uh, nah. I, I actually take that back on the salt. It needs more pepper. I mean, fresh from you know the. What it, 
okay, you know what it kind of smells like up here? You know, like a boy's locker room in school? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. I know I think, exactly I think, what that smells like. I think skunk is the, the cause of it. Ooh, you, oh, no. Are you sure it's not you, GP? I mean, I know I have the eau de uh, skunk fume. Skunk fart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That's my all natural smell. How does yes, all natural? How, yeah. how did it get extracted? I'm curious. Um, it was uh, freshly squeezed this morning. Oh, freshly <laughs> squeezed. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask what they squeezed? Um, I'd rather not go into detail. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I should be leaving, you know. All right. Well, All before right. before hold on, before you leave, Skunk, let's let's have a little bit of a a test. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh it's <laughs> deadly. God, that's bad. Yo, one brave man, Justin, for enduring the events that occurred over at IMGP space. So I guess that's all for. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, we're we're, we're getting some breaking news. It looks like there is a major event that's taking place over at the Phantom Bar. Let's go and have a look. It's been quite some time since our last meeting, and I thought we should get together, get everyone up to speed what's been going on with the Mafia after all of these holidays. But I do hope you guys had a good holiday, even though it's already almost February. Oh, yeah. Really good holiday. Yeah, quite um, relaxing. It did slow our business down a tiny bit, but um, I'm, I'm refreshed. I'm ready to get to work, and I hope you guys are too. And I do want to start this meeting off, firstly, by introducing you guys to our new security company, Nosy Surveillance. And this is Mr. GP, who is security. So, uh, Mr. GP, welcome. Thank you, KB. Uh, I'd just like to say a few words. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, if, you ha if you've noticed, there's a couple cameras sort of located around the tavern. And this is just for your safety. Uh, we're just... We're making sure you guys are safe uh, and protected. So, uh, yeah, I've been hired for that. And if you need anything from me, there's my office just over there in the corner. Uh, I'm going to go wait over there while you guys have your meeting, and I'll just uh, be monitoring you. So, thank you. Yeah, so I thought it's just smart because we, we, we want to move around some diamonds and do some business. We just need to make sure everything's watched while we're not here. Yeah. And then the next order of business is uh, we have one missing member. Mr. Puff is not with us now, but I did want to address the whole dragon, uh, the dragon business, the dragon egg business. You guys duplicated the dragon egg. And uh, I want to say good job with that. That's showing, we're showing our dominance through that. And uh, kind of that we're going to take what we want. We're going to take what we want. <laughs> the Dawn is proud. Oh. Now, before we get to our main event, our main kind of topic I want to discuss, I did want to ask, is there anything any of you would like to share? Um, any thoughts, ideas, anything you want to bring up? No should, I, should I talk about Winter Quest? Ooh. Uh, do you want to bring it up? Is there anything we can do for you? Well, for those of you guys that don't know, myself and Artorvian have been working on a pretty large project as of late. We're thinking of hosting this uh, big community event, which means uh, we're going to need a large sum of diamonds, which I know that's kind of detracting from our final goal here in the Mafia, but I think it's a good opportunity to... It's, it, it's basically, it's marketing for the Mafia, probably. And uh, we can maybe try and figure out what we can, how we can use that in our favor but it's, I think it's just showing dominance, like duplicating the Dragon Egg. I think this event is also just putting the Mafia stamp on it so that everyone knows we're around and we're not to be messed with. Yeah, right? well said, well said. Okay, so we'll put a pin in that. We can get back to that kind of idea. I'm sure we can help out, definitely, and get to some agreements there. But I do think it's time to get to the main event, the main reason we're here. And uh, just want to get everyone up to speed. 
When we started the Mafia, we all agreed that the main mission is to make the Dawn the richest person on the server. And since then, we've kind of not collected that many diamonds, which is a bit of a problem. But I do have a solution, if you guys want to hear my solution. Ooh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do tell. Follow me this way, if you will. And we head on through oh. here. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you Whoa. to the real dawn Ooh. of the afterlife. Whoa. Whoa. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to see all of you here. Well, what's going on here? Yeah. Sat here for five days, KB. Five days waiting for you guys to come in. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties. The technical I do difficulties, apologize. eh? Down with the patriarchy. <laughs> well, 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 boys. Now that you're all here, I would like you to meet the dawn of the afterlife at your service. Hello. Hi. Hello. You're shorter than I expected, not gonna lie. I think I'm six foot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this anyway, is a now, <laughs> now that a you're little, here, little... you can you can be quiet now, KB. You can be quiet. I'm sure you've talked enough. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up here. Now that we are all gathered here, I can finally reveal to you that it has been I all along who is the Don of Afterlife. KB has been a fantastic figurehead, but I and the neck, and the neck can move the head any way that it likes. So, what should we do? All right, okay. So, that is an interesting reveal. Kafas is actually the dawn. Well, I guess that's all for the news segment tonight. Good night and good news.